Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a kind of daily vlog with you guys. It is a very sunny Saturday and I don't have any plans. So I was kind of half thinking, shall I do some work today? But I really do like to have the weekends off because I'm sat at my desk writing for most of the week. So yeah, I, I really didn't want to do that today. Plus it's such a lovely day. And also quick story time, I, um, I haven't been feeling too well. I've been feeling quite tired, quite achy, just kind of lack of like sluggish, lack of energy, a bit run down. And anyway, I spoke to the doctor because I do actually have an underactive thyroid. So I just wanted to check my medication was okay. Didn't need adjusting or anything. And while we were having that blood test, she did all the other kind of blood tests that they do if you say you're feeling tired. And I just heard back that I'm very low in vitamin D. So I've got to take supplements and check it again in eight weeks time. And so I was thinking to myself, don't sit in and write today. It's really gorgeous outside. Get out, get some natural vitamin D and maybe then I will start to hopefully feel better. When I put that on Instagram that I was low in vitamin D, quite a few of you messaged me to say that you've had that as well. I think being in the UK, working from home, obviously that has affected me over the winter and yeah, but fingers crossed once I get my dose, get my levels up, then I will feel better. So yeah, let's get out today. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to my nearest town um, because that is a really lovely walk by the river. There's not too many shops there now. Like unfortunately quite a few have closed, um, which I feel like has been the case in quite a few places, um, which is a real shame. So really in terms of like clothes shops, it's only really new look and necks. Um, there are uh, a couple of bookshops and, um, you know, like boots and super truck, things like that. So there's not a great deal there, but I'll have a little mooch around and really just enjoy the kind of walk along the river. And I thought I could take you guys with me because I very much tend to do kind of sit down videos and lots of hauls and really kind of take you out and about. So I thought today, why not do it? I mean, I don't know if I'll vlog much actually in town because I'll probably be too embarrassed, but along the river, I can definitely show you guys all that. And hopefully we can enjoy the sunshine together. And one thing that I'm looking for, second story time of the intro, this is gonna be a really long intro. Um, I, the other day I stood on my hair straighteners. They were kind of half hidden on my bedroom floor and I didn't see them. And I stood full on them and heard a very distressing cracking sound and they've completely broken. Um, I tried to kind of tape them up because they were just kind of cracked down the middle, but they don't clamp together now to like actually straighten your hair. So even though they switch on, I can't actually get them to straighten my hair. So I'm, yeah, if my hair is a bit fluffy and frizzy today, you know why? Um, they were GHD straighteners and the thought of replacing them with however much they are now isn't really appealing to me. Um, but I'm not really sure if there's anything else on the market that is as good. Let me know in the comments though if you have a kind of cheaper pair of straighteners um, that are as good as GHDs or whether I'm going to have to suck it up and buy them again. But in the meantime, I have been wanting to try a curling wand, a curling tong. I don't know which one we call them. I think the tongs are the ones that you clamp down and the ones just wrap around. Anyway, you know what I mean. And I thought maybe this is the perfect opportunity. I thought I will, while I'm out today, see if I can pick up like a really reasonable one just to kind of give it a go, give it a try and see if it's something that might work for my hair. Because as you guys know, if you are already a follower here, I do have very difficult hair. It is naturally very unruly. Um, if I leave it to dry naturally, it's curly, but it's not nice curls. It's like frizzy, kind of corkscrew curls that really, it's really hard to like know what to do with it. Um, anyway, that is a very long waffly intro. <laughs> if you're still with me, I really hope you enjoy coming to town with me and yeah, I'll um, speak to you guys later.
It all started in the summer. Whoa. I knew that you'd be thinking about me. Can we just tell each other? Whoa. How we feel. We used to hang out with friends. Yeah. Pretended the we, we couldn't see where this was gonna end. is this I've just left town and we're gonna walk home along the river and it is so lovely today so nice and sunny but not too warm perfect walking weather so yeah let's go and I'll take you guys along with me I've been out of my head can't get out of bed on my brain but got it good can't complain it's like i'm losing my mind and time's hard to find what's a girl gotta do to catch a break oh, when life tries to test me dress on today I don't care what you say and I'm ignoring my phone so don't try to reach me I can't do nothing for you so don't ask I ain't coming through cause I'm running away to my and it was very warm on the walk back it was nice by the river because it was a nice cool breeze but then i got a little bit too hot um, i'm also absolutely starving so i'm gonna go and make some lunch now and then i'll show you what i picked up in town um i think i might take it out in the garden with a book that'll be really nice um i think what am i gonna have i think i've got some hummus to eat and i've got some gluten-free pitta so i think i'm just gonna make like a picky kind of lunch and yeah so I'll do that and then I will show you everything that I picked up. But it was such a lovely walk home, really relaxing and it was so nice. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the shots that I got. And yeah, I sat down along the way and yeah, it was really nice. So I'm really glad that I went out and did it. And now, yeah, gonna have some food. Okay, so I've had my picky lunch. It was very nice and I've had lots of water, so I feel um, refreshed and ready to show you what I picked up. And then I think I will probably take this outfit off and probably put on some shorts because it has got really warm and go back out in the garden and just soak up all the vitamin D that I possibly can today um, because I just checked my phone and it looks like it's gonna rain tomorrow. So it's possibly the only chance I'm gonna get. Anyway, I picked up a, a few bits. I did get the curling wand that we talked about at the beginning. I looked in Boots and Superdrug and they had nothing, really strange. But they had this one in Sainsbury's. Um, it's a bit thinner than I wanted. I was kind of thinking of getting quite a sort of chunky thick barrel to make more like waves than curls but this was all they had and it was only 18 pounds so I thought well look I'll get it give it a go see if it would even work for my hair and then I can you know get a better one or a thicker one if I want in the future you know what I mean anyway so the brand is Phil Smith who I think is like a hairdresser um and it's a 13 to 25 millimeter curling wand it kind of tapers um, so again, I'm not sure if that's the kind of vibe that I wanted or not, but really the the choice was 
extremely poor so we just had to go with this one and as i said it was only 18 pounds so if it's a complete disaster it's not the end of the world i definitely didn't want to pay out for a really expensive one when i've got no idea what it will do with my very difficult hair so yeah i will probably try this and report back or if you suddenly see me having curly or wavy hair in instagram photos then you know it has worked a treat but i don't know i'm skeptical guys i'm skeptical and then I also, while I was looking at the hair stuff, this product just kind of randomly caught my eye and I thought I would pick it up. It is, I'm holding it to the camera, so I don't know what it is. It is VO5. It's called Frizz Free Air Dry Cream. It's supposed to control frizz, revive and tame, perfect for thick, unruly hair. And basically you put it on towel dried hair and then you let your hair dry naturally and it is supposed to leave it is free and just make your hair look really nice again i'm not convinced it will work for my hair but i thought that would be really nice especially in summer because on like a really warm day i hate having to sit and use a hair dryer dry my hair and especially if you're then putting heat on it with a straightener or a curling wand it's a lot of heat isn't it not great for your hair so i thought if this works then you know i can just use it on my actual hair let it air dry and we're good to go but as i said I, i'm really not holding out a lot of hope but it, i think it was on offer as well it was like three pounds fifty so i mean if it works then hooray if it doesn't never mind and then i feel like i'm always picking up shower gels and showing you guys but also in Sainsbury's, I picked up a shower gel. It's from the Sanctuary range, which they also do in Boots and Superdrug. Um, I think there was an offer in Sainsbury's, which is why it caught my eye, maybe. I'm not sure. It's 12-hour shower cream, and it looks like a really nice kind of luxurious moisturising shower gel cream. Probably my favourite one is Soap and Glory Clean on Me. Um, the few that I've tried lately from Home Bargains and stuff, I haven't been that enamoured with. Um, this is probably, I think this was the same price as the Soap and Glory one. And yeah, it just looks, you know, a little bit fancy for those kind of extra, extra luxurious showers that we might want to take. And then finally from Sainsbury's, yep, um, I have run out of my Nivea night cream. This is a bit different. This has got natural almond oil in it. Um, but again, this one was half price and they didn't have my usual one, which is just, just plain Nivea night cream. So I picked it up. We'll give it a go. I do love Nivea products on my face. So fingers crossed, it's good. I picked up one piece of clothing. I went into New Look because I had seen something on the website that I quite liked. If you watched my wardrobe video, you will know that I am on the hunt for a black and white top which really feels like it is just not in fashion at the moment there was literally no black and white tops today um there was one in new look that also had red cherries on it oh molten but it was really cropped and i just didn't think it was going to look right with my black skirt so i didn't buy that so instead i bought something that i really didn't need at all and it's actually the same kind of color that i'm wearing but never mind, these things happen, guys, don't they? But actually, it's really cute, and it kind of um, almost gave me kind of 50s vibes for the kind of shape of it. So it's just, and it's also like this kind of almost waffle fabric. I don't know if that will come across on camera. But it's a really pretty pale blue shirt, basically, with kind of capped sleeves, a cute collar and pocket, and it's just kind of nice, relaxed fit. It's longer at the back than at the front, and I just thought it's really cute piece for summer it will go really nicely with all my trousers and you know when you're just in the changing rooms so you're trying loads of stuff on and one thing looks nice even though you don't actually probably need it you just can't help yourself i think it was 20 pounds and they also did it in black i've got too much black in my wardrobe a bright green but they they only had like an eight and an 18 left and like a pink but it was like a really kind of hot pink I think if it had been baby pink, I would have got that because I have some blue things already. But it was just a bit bright and I didn't think I would actually end up wearing it. So anyway, that should be really nice for a summer day because it feels like really nice and cool. So happy with that. But the hunt for a black and white top, 
continues. <laughs> and then the final shop I went in was the works. I was actually popping in to see if they had my book because it's just been stocked in their Murder at the Summer Fate, in case you don't know it. Um, unfortunately though, they didn't have it in my works. Let me know if they have it in yours though. I'd love to see a picture of it on the shelf. However, they did have three books that caught my eye. So it's very dangerous to go in there. And also these were really heavy to carry home. I didn't think that one through, but never mind. I'm excited what I picked up. First of all, I recently read Christina Lauren's The Unhoneymooners and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really like fun, um, really cute romance, uh, perfect for summer. And after I kind of said that online, a few of you messaged me to say that I would probably really enjoy The Soulmate Equation uh, by Christina Lauren. I never know whether to say by her, by them, because it's two women writing um, under a pen name. But anyway, um, so I picked it up for three pounds. So yeah, looking forward to reading that one. And then my eye was definitely caught by the kind of summery looking reads today. And this one, I've, I've seen lots of reviews and people talking about this one online. And it's called Beach Read by Emily Henry. And the reason that I really wanted to pick this up was it's about two writers. Um, so, you know, I thought, why not? Um, it looks really cute. Two writers, one holiday, a wrong con waiting to happen. So yeah, I thought that looked really good. That was a bit more expensive than... I noticed now the works are kind of um, stocking more kind of recent bestsellers and they're kind of not, they're in their two pound or three, four, five pound deal. This was five pounds, but um, it looks really good. So yeah, we shall see. And then the final book I picked up was Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy. And again, I was just, I was just drawn in by the cover. Like how pretty is that? It just looked like, again, a really nice summery romantic comedy to read and I think again I've seen reviews of that one as well. This one was only three pounds. How cute do they look together? Nice summary reading pile because I'm currently reading, oh, you probably saw when I was having lunch, an Agatha Christie book. Um, you know I like my murder mysteries but I'm also really enjoying um, rom-coms for the summer. So yeah, really excited to read these three. I didn't need any more books, but you know, I went into the works. What can you do when they catch your eye? You just, I mean, I just had to bring them home. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that random little haul and coming to town with me today. I'm really pleased I got outside. I think it was really beneficial and I'm glad I didn't stay inside and work today. Um, let me know if you enjoy these kinds of day in the life of vlogs, if you want me to do more of them. What videos of mine do you enjoy the most, basically? Let me know in the comments, it would be really helpful. I mean, I could vlog a writing day, but it's literally just me sitting at the laptop, so I feel like it would be just really boring. But maybe now that the weather hopefully is picking up, we can do a few more outside things. Anyway, let me know what you prefer in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, please do that before you leave. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're having a lovely weekend wherever you are. And now I'm gonna go and probably sit in the garden and do some more reading, really make the most of this sunny day. And I hope it's lovely and sunny where you are. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, thank you so much as always for being here. Take care, look after yourselves, and I really hope I'll see you soon for another video. Bye guys. You make me feel hot. You make me feel like I can fly. Oh baby, what you doing to me? Doing to me.